Hello everyone, this is Julia from Avalon Rituals. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know I haven't been online for a couple of months now. Uh, so much has happened so that I did not have the time uh, to put more videos uh, online. So I'm really truly sorry for that. But uh, today I feel very inspired um, to give you again the weekly tarot as the energies are really beautiful and really strong here. So I thought it's a nice idea to give you a little update as well. And the main energies, I have changed the format a little bit. So what I'm doing now is I pull two cards for the main energies of the week, uh, two energies for the challenge, two energies for the advice and two for the outcome. So this is what you see already here. Uh, I am using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. Um, tarot. I'm using this because yesterday actually I found out that uh, there was a bit of water in the box where this card deck was in and I haven't used these cards in ages and uh, they were all like super wet and I thought you know what, I'm gonna honor the cards now and I'm gonna do a reading with them for the week. So, um, the first cards here, I'm gonna show you the cards as they are super beautiful. The first card is the card uh, Two of Cups and the Two of Cups is a relationship. Uh, it could be a very strong bond, um, could be a soulmate relationship here, a love relationship, but I also feel like each um, other relationship as in a friendship or a family relationship could play a specific part here. Um, I feel though um, that this is a very deep connection or a very powerful connection. So maybe for some of you, it could even refer to businesses. Um, but I feel like the main energy, the main focus of this week is going to be a specific relationship. And with this specific relationship, we have the combination of the Ace of Pentacles. Now the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. So there might be a new beginning with a specific relationship. Um, whatever this is, uh, whatever you were just thinking about when I talked about this card, there might be a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles or a relationship that um, that there is some sort of gift or some sort of blessing uh, in this uh, connection. It might even be that there's a completely new relationship coming and um, that this relationship feels like a blessing to you, like a gift, like something that has the potential to really, uh, yeah, build, that it can be really built on a solid foundation with the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, this might be an existing relationship that goes onto a new level, or that there's something new coming, something really positive, beautiful, something that you value very much within this specific connection, or like I said, there might even be a new connection for you here that feels really really positive. Um, so the challenge in this week are actually then, I'm going to turn this card around, the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is a card of resentment, of things that didn't work out the way you thought they would. Um, it's a card that makes me um, look into the past or you are focused onto the past. Um, I do feel you can always use this card because if you realize that there's some sort of anger, sadness, resentment for the past, then you can observe yourself and maybe see even because the card is here next to it, the gift, the blessing in the situation, because nothing happens without a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Uh, and that means that um, even those things that did not turn out as you expected them to turn out, um, there might be a deeper meaning, a deeper reason behind it. And everything is working for you here. So yes, you can examine the past if you want to learn and if you want to take the lessons, but don't get stuck in the past and turn around and see that there's actually two cups still standing and this is the future and what you can focus on. And the two cups here might even refer to the two of cups we have here. Uh, the new relationship but if you're focused on to the past and holding on to resentment to sadness and all the things then you are in a lower vibrational energy and then it might be um, that you are in a self-fulfilling prophecy where you are repeating a pattern so it's very important here um, with this energy to a if this is coming up, if the past, the resentment or sadness is coming up, observe yourself. Is there anything you can learn from it? And then turn around and focus onto the future here, because that's the direction you're going. Um, the next card here is also the four of um, the four of 
uh, coins, <laughs> pentacles, and this is a holding on energy. And that tells me that for some reason there's something from the past that you are still holding on to. And this is kind of like poisoning your energy or at least draining your energy. And it depends on where you are in this journey of this disappointment um, that shows up here. Sometimes it's not even a thing that shows up in your everyday daily life um, but it could be something that comes in waves uh, and if you observe the waves um, you can see how far you are in the process of uh, processing basically this experience because if the waves are getting um, I feel always like first the waves are really high and it's a really intense thing and then the waves are evening out so I feel like um, the the less this thing comes up and the wave is not as high anymore as it was maybe at the beginning of this disappointment, uh, the more you see that you are further in the process of processing, in the progress of processing, sorry guys, uh, this energy here. And I feel like the blockage in this week could be if you are holding on to the resentments and to the expectations that weren't fulfilled in the past. Whatever this means to you. It could mean a specific situation, it could mean a relationship, um, but with this blockage, which uh, with this challenge, I also see already the advice. Though we then have another advice here. <laughs> That's... Um, yeah, very important to refocus again onto the future and not hold on to the past. Uh, the advice we have here is the Queen of Cups. Uh, the Queen of Cups is the first card of um, a personal card. So you might be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. This might be your energy. Um, so either this is hinting towards someone with a water energy or a very watery aspect in the chart or it's your energy and then it would mean come back to your own energy. Um, also, I feel like it's important to be uh, gentle and kind to yourself and towards others, uh, to, to, fall, um, to fall into your heart again and to become soft. Uh, let me see, the next card here is the Four of... Um, the Four of Swords and the Four of Swords is the energy of also, and this is now for all of you guys, it's like really getting back into your energy again. Rest. Um, rest mentally, rest emotionally, uh, rest physically, uh, take a time out and come back into your own energy. But at the same time, stay, uh, stay compassionate, stay um, gentle and loving towards yourself and others. Um, but I do also get the energy of a lot of self-care here because I feel like there is a time out that you need to take and a little bit of rest. Um, maybe from a specific situation, maybe just in general. And uh, also obviously with the cup queen energy, we have the energy of following your intuition to do what really feels like the right thing here to do now for you. Also when it comes to this um, resting energy and getting back into your energy. Because if you are, um, if these energies come up and you're so much focused on to the past or the past expectations that have not been fulfilled, then this is draining your energy. And that tells me don't let anything drain your energy and stay in this, uh, yeah, stay in your power, stay in your energy. Um, also, I feel like with the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups talks about holding the cup um, of emotions with her and is, she's not like walking around asking everybody if he or she wants to have her cup. Um, so it's not like a beggar uh, offering the cup to everyone. It's like, no, hold the cup of love with you and see who's truly worthy. So that's another energy of this uh, Queen of Cups here. Where is this energy leading to in this week? And this is now really amazing because the energies are just super powerful. Uh, but also we just had a blue moon in Aquarius, means the second blue moon in Aquarius, uh, the second full moon in Aquarius this month, which is then a blue moon. And uh, so a very special time at the moment. It's a time for forgiveness, for releasing the past. So uh, very interesting because I said this already here and I feel like this card talks about um, really letting go of the past, forgiving yourself, forgiving other, others so that you can um, let go of the heavy energies of sadness, resentment, anger and that you can make it to another level, to another energetic level because those energies are more heavy and then you attract 
uh, because you are in this energy field, you attract more heavy energy experiences, which doesn't mean that you can't feel them or you're not allowed to feel them because you need to work through them, like I said, but at some point it's really important um, to actually work through them and to then let go of the um, lower vibrational energies here. And I feel like something is going to happen, a big shift is going to happen in this week where you will be able to let go, to forgive yourself, to forgive others and to really feel more free, more clear and lighter than before. Um, you might be following your soul's purpose here, the call of your soul. There might be a new awakening of what you're here to do for. And um, also I feel like that might be a little redirection because it feels like an awakening where you suddenly hear the call of your soul and you're like, okay, now I know what to do. And at the same time, um, it feels like you can uh, let go of the past with this card in this week. And the next card, so that's number 20. Uh, everybody who knows tarot knows it goes then to number 21 and having the 20 and 21 the last two cards of the major arcana uh, next to each other I think it's very powerful because it really shows me that you are in the last bit of closing a major cycle here and uh, so therefore I feel like there is a completion um, there is a closing of a cycle a closing of a karmic cycle closing of a chapter and therefore you are actually able then after this to move into the new chapter um, I also feel like what is important to do this if you want to really truly close the chapter I do think it's important here to um, come in this energy first, to let go, to um, not let the past affect you anymore, to just close the chapter, release all low vibrational en energies like resentment, sadness, anger, um, so you can fully close the chapter and not let another wave roll over you and pull you back into the past. And that's an a very beautiful powerful energy i feel for this week so yeah i hope you resonate with it if so leave a like or a comment subscribe to the channel thank you for all your support for everybody who is still here i know a few people left because i wasn't uploading obviously that's understandable um but uh yeah uh thank you so much for everyone who is still here and for your support and if you like obviously you can share this video as well so have a lovely week see you guys next time